When you want to edit an existing shape, whether you drew it yourself, imported an SVG graphic, or started with a basic shape, you can either double click on the shape layer, or select it and press return to enter vector editing mode. You can also select multiple shapes and edit them at the same time in case you're working on a more complex illustration. Once you're in vector editing mode, you can click on any point to select it. You can also use the tab key or shift tab to quickly jump from point to point. If you select the very first or last point of an open path, your cursor will switch to the vector tool, so you can keep drawing new points from there. You can press the escape key to get the normal cursor back. Just like with layers, you can hold the shift key to select multiple points, or click and drag a box around the points you want to select. Moving points also works just like layers. You can drag them, hold shift to move them along a single axis, use the arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge, or change their X and Y values in the inspector. You can even use the distribute and align tools on individual points. You can also change the way a point affects its segments by selecting one of four different point types in the inspector. A moment ago, I showed you that straight was the default point type, which gives you a sharp corner. But straight points also have a special power. They can be rounded using the radius slider on the inspector. To switch to the same type of curved path that we created before by clicking and dragging a new point, we can switch to the mirrored point type. This gives us two control handles we can drag to adjust the curve, and those two handles will mirror one another's angle and length to give us a smooth curve on both sides of the point. I'm going to switch to the fourth type, which is called asymmetric, because it's similar to mirrored when it comes to the angle, but asymmetric allows us to pull one control handle longer or shorter than the other to give us more control over the curve on each side. You can also hold the shift key to lock the angle in place while you push or pull the length of the handle. The third point type that I skipped over is called disconnected and allows us to independently set the angle and distance for each control handle. The result is usually a hard corner, kind of like a straight point, but with curved segments coming out of it. When you're drawing a new curved point with the vector tool, you can also hold the command key to create a disconnected point on the fly. This allows you to draw a straight segment from a point without affecting the curve leading to it. You can insert a new point anywhere along a path by hovering over it and clicking on it. Or you can click and drag to create a curve with your new point. Holding shift will create a point exactly halfway between two existing points. Another handy way to adjust the curve of a segment without even having to touch a control handle is to hold the command key and then drag a segment to bend it. This takes care of the control handles on both ends of the segment for you automatically. 